Welcome to the introductory module of the GO training. This is module one, where by the end of the module, you would have achieved three things. You will be able to describe the objectives of the GO pre-deployment training package. You'll be able to list WHO's key roles and functions in the global Ebola response. And number three, you'll be able to describe key information sources that you will need as someone being deployed to the Ebola response. Before we go to the GO package, I'd like to remind you about something called ePROTECT. ePROTECT is an online training module that you have to complete before you are allowed to deploy for the Ebola response. The ePROTECT has one single objective, and that is to give you enough knowledge to protect yourself and those around you from contracting uh, Ebola. So this is a health and safety training. It'll take about two and a half hours and you must complete it and submit the certificate to those people who are deploying you. Now the GO package is a little broader. It's in modular form and it really is a competency-based pre-deployment training package. The material may be available to you online, on a stick or face-to-face, -face, and it covers several aspects of your pre-deployment. It will reinforce what you know about Ebola and how to prevent getting Ebola yourself when you're in the field. It will talk about uh, the health and safety of you and other people. It will talk about the response actions that we are all involved in, and it will talk about practical operational aspects. So really to be specific, the course outline is in five modules. The first module is obviously this module introducing you to the course. The second module really reinforces what we currently know about Ebola, how it's caused, how it's transmitted, how it can be stopped. Module three takes you through the global Ebola response, the international response framework. Who is doing what? What are the main pillars of response? Module four goes into those four pillars of response. And these four are very important for anyone going for Ebola response to know. The first is case management. So how are people who have Ebola manage clinical management? The second pillar is about finding and contact tracing of other people who've come into contact with people with Ebola. We call that case finding and contact tracing. The third pillar is about, um, unfortunately, if somebody dies from Ebola, how to run a safe and dignified burial. The fourth pillar is very, very important and it cuts across all the other pillars. It's about social mobilization and community engagement for Ebola response. Now, even if you are not being deployed for any of these four, it's very, very important for you to know how your work contributes to these four response fillers. The last module is really understanding what it is, what it means to work for WHO. What does WHO do? What is WHO's role? What are the administrative and operational procedures and tools that you have to know about? So through this course, the GO training, you will be taken in a modular form through these five modules. You should also know about all the course materials that are going to be available to you. Obviously, this is part of the core training materials, this video lesson. But you'll also have sometimes an opportunity to have a face-to-face -face session. You may have the materials online or on a memory stick. So the core training materials will be available in many formats for you. For each part of the training, there'll be supplementary reading materials. And it's really important to look through these and maybe even print out those you need to take with you. Before you leave, you'll also get web links to key documents. Now, knowing that web connectivity can be very poor or intermittent in the field, if there are things that interest you or are relevant to your work, we recommend you download these as well before you leave. And obviously, in the package, in the course materials, you'll have some contact details of people that you might need to contact while you're being deployed. All right, we're nearly ready to complete this course. I have one more task for you. I'd like now for you to list three points Three ideas, three reasons why you think you are being deployed for the Ebola response. What is your deployment about? Can you take a piece of paper, write down one, two, three points as to why you're being deployed for the Ebola response?
And when you've done that, you can consider this module over. Thank you for listening. Thank you.